Hi, I'm James. I gather intelligence on new technology, cyber attacks, and attackers. I figure out what they want, and then I find ways to fight them. Now, that's simple in principle, but that information is almost always hidden away in the dark corners of the world. So we have a network of informants and dark web sources who help us find what we're looking for. At uni, I studied the sciences, then psychology, then philosophy, and then information systems, all of which have a lot to contribute to cybersecurity. I actually got my start in cybersecurity incidentally. An acquaintance of mine ran a red team. They were paid to hack into big companies to test their security, and they asked me to perform the psychological profiling and then social engineering on their human targets. Once I had compromised their physical defenses and then gotten inside, the others used that new access to get into their locked up computer systems. And it was so much fun that I decided to keep doing it. And now my team and I protect the bank from cyber criminals and corporate espionage. Foreign governments and teams of hackers trying to steal our critical information. A lot of attacks start with something we call social engineering. This is the kind of attack you'll see in bank heist films with the fast lies and disguises. It's the manipulation of humans and psychology to get into systems and buildings. Attackers will find out information about their target and then use deception and impersonation to manipulate their target to access critical pieces of information. And often it's through completely public information. Birthdays, friends' posts, connections, check-ins. Social media is a social engineer's best resource. They use it to track people around the world, impersonate someone in their emails, intercept and read all their messages, and look through their accounts until they find the information they want. And when they have it, they use the authorization of their victims to get into the systems. And it goes pretty deep. For example, all the photos you take on your phone have the exact location they were taken inside the file. This is called geolocation. And using it, anyone can find you through your tweets, Instagram, or Facebook feed. Now, luckily, you can turn this off, but we share all sorts of information online that a skilled social engineer can use to exploit us. Good social engineers can spend weeks learning about their target before executing an attack. There's no end of opportunities inside cybersecurity. It's the greatest social and technological challenge of our time, and it will be needed anywhere technology exists. And even I haven't decided where I want to go next, but I think some of the most interesting challenges will come from our emerging space industry and the new Australian Space Agency, or in the rise of private intelligence firms. And maybe I'll end up in one or the other.